This is Jacob Kattner. Uh I'm going to go over the DOS box uh, and a load, uh, setting up Load Runner. Um, uh, you can use the config file that's like a sh uh, immediate result, like with Load Runner. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> it's easier if I just show you. You'll you'll see. Uh, that's that's. Uh, let's just skip to it. <laughs> I don't want to waste your time watching my face. I just want you to see that there's a real guy behind this that's actually doing this. So, oh, and also bef before I switch screens, make sure that you uh, check out uh, my website, catnergames.com. And uh, there's there's videos on there, and there's also some text, so uh, it's stuff you can read. You know, entertainment, give you something to do. All right, so here's the actual s screen. So you can see that the icons I have here have DOSBox A. That's why I call that one. This is basically has the configuration where everything's uh, preset, uh, so I don't have to manually type in the mount and all that. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show it where I manually type it in, so you know what I'm doing instead of having pre-done. So I'm going to run this one instead. Okay. Whatever. That's fine. I can do it in that spot. Okay. You see, I already have, based on the configuration, I already got my sound blaster set for 220. Got all the IQ variables set as well. Alright, so I'm going to go and we're going to mount it. So, in order to run your game, first you have to create your directory. Okay. So you got to create your directory. I didn't want that big. Okay, so you create your directory. I you want it in the C drive. I set it up a directory under games down here. This is my all of my stuff. I put all my games in this C slash C shift colon slash games. That's the directory right there. Okay, it's in the location of C. So, I'm going to go in here, dang it, make sure you click on the screen if it don't work. We're going to do, if I see if I do this, it's going to say, hey, it's not even existed. Okay, so we're going to do mount, so we gotta, we mount, we're mounting the C drive. So we're taking the directory and putting it on this virtual C drive. You want to put quotes, whoops, you don't need caps, games. And that's all I have to put. Mount C right here. Mount because we're mounting it, the C drive, onto this directory, the real directory. This is a virtual C drive, and this is a real C drive. This is what we have. The the thing I just showed you. So C colon slash games. Okay. So now it's it's been mounted. So I'll put that. And then the C colon, and then that brings up that that adds it into the C directory, and then there's my directory right there. So if I go and look in here, you'll see the local C drive right here, and you'll see there's my games. It's the same thing. Or is it Load Runner? Another thing I want to point out, since I'm going to go for Load Runner, is if you can compare the two, you'll see it's shortened. In the old DOS, this ain't like your uh, command prompt DOS thing. This is a little different. It's based on the old school DOS. So it, you, it shortens it to a certain amount. Of, it has to be a certain amount of letters size, and then it puts this one. If there's more than one with a similar name, it'll put two. Okay, so load runner, and that's my load runner bonus. So I'm going to use the load runner, load runner bonus first, so I can show you a little trick, and then I'll do the regular load runner. Well, sometimes you might have to just manually exit out, you know, close it out, and then restart it uh, because some of these games don't have an exit. Load runner fortunately does have an exit; it has a quit option. 
which makes it a lot easier so you don't have to do go through that crazy process so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do CD slash I'm gonna do the second one second load runner so that changes the directory to there okay this right here I put that text thing so I can tell the difference. It's a blank text file. I just threw that in there so I can tell the difference between my load runner stuff so I don't mess up the original load runner. This right here is the copy. It's not the, the original. The original load runner that has all the levels, the ones you're already familiar with. This is a copy. Uh, it's like, you know, on the old load runner, they had a floppy disk, like for the A drive and the B drive. Uh, I think it was a five and a quarter, five and a quarter inch disc. Uh, and I have it, but it's in Ohio, which I don't have with me right now, but I have it up in Ohio, the disc, the original disc that they used to have. I do have them. I also have three and a half inch discs too, but man, I also got five and a quarter for Might and Magic. So you're just going to, you just type LR. You can do LR.com if you want, but I just type LR. And it runs the program. And there's the program. Okay. Just hit escape and it'll bring up your options. Now to to erase everything, this and you want to make a second directory, a, a separate load runner. Because if you do it on the original load runner, it's going to delete it all and you won't have your levels and you have to create another directory like I did on accident once. So you're going to take a, a a copy of that load runner, which which I call mine uh, load runner bonus. This is the copy, and then and then you just do init init disk. Yeah, it's going to make a weird sound. Just ignore that sound. It's going to ask, hey, puts a disk in the in the drive A. You don't have to do that. You can take the original and erase it because this ain't like the old school where you have your master disk and it prevented you from erasing it. Uh, I believe you clipped the edge or something like that to prove that you can write right over the disk or something like that. It's been a while since I've done that. It's been years. Okay. Uh, I was a kid when I used to do that stuff. I think I was like, what, 10 years old, 10 or 8 years old. I can't remember. All right. So, and then you just uh, press uh, enter to continue. It'll format and you just make up a name. You can have caps, whatever. Jacob bonus push enter it'll say hey we're gonna clear all the files you just press enter dead <laughs> anyway alright okay a new high score Knit disk, and that is drive A. So, okay, let's try this again. I'll try to type something else. Dumb bonus. Well, enter clears all files. Escape keeps it. There we go, got it. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Low runner data disk ready to use. Okay. Alright, so this is pretty pretty much all I did. I'll show you what I did. All I did was I mounted the drive. I mount it it requires an A drive, so all I did was I just did mount A. Oops, C shift colon slash and that's the uh, this because uh, I set created a separate drive outside of the game's drive I called it G floppy drive G floppy drive and that's all I did it's already mounted though and then it'll mount it and then that seems to take it it's, it doesn't really do anything it stays empty uh, just ignore that that that's just some blank image file there's nothing on there Okay, so then that's, that's pretty much all it does. It's like it serves as a dummy drive, so it claims there's a drive. That's all it wants. It just wants some dummy drive. 
That's what I did. Uh, and, it, and it takes it. You gotta have a, a, an A drive in order to create a new Load Runner game where you have your own custom levels for like Load Runner bonus. And as you can see, if I do LR, and then all I do to create levels anyway, this is old school. I love the old school method. I don't like the newer Load Runner, uh, the one, the Nintendo version. They also have one I think on the Xbox 360 uh, version of Load Runner. Uh, which is okay. That version's not bad. It's an okay version. It's not bad. And, and it can be hard on some areas. But I still prefer the classic version. And, I mean, nothing beats this classics, uh, in my opinion. Some people might not like the classic. They like the new fancy 3D related things, but that's that's not me. You know, I put these bricks in. Everybody knows what that is. And, and then the hard stone. Okay. The objective here is to get your treasure and when you get all the treasure, I'll create something simple put that here Okay. So, and you gotta have a ladder, because that's how you exit. If you don't have the ladder, you're not gonna win the game. Just at point. <laughs> Straight into the point. Something simple. So in order to get your invisible, I put that in there, that way it keeps you from going up there, I guess, prematurely. Anyway, that This is like an invisible ladder, that's what those are. Yeah, I remember all of this. And then this right here, you can put that in. Uh, that just makes it more challenging when you have that item. Stick it there. That just makes it so that you can fall through. It's like a... Uh, what was it? A secret door? That's what that is. It's like a secret door. And then this right here, we're gonna. I'm gonna put a man in there somewhere. Let's see where do I want to put it? I'll stick it here. And then this is your character. You always you you have to have this minimum. You don't have to have the enemies, but you have to have this guy minimum. In order to run the game, just like most games, even Indiana Jones, you got to have at least one main player character. Most games that require level editors that I've played, I love games that involve level editors. Minecraft's okay, but it's not really level editor. <laughs> I mean, you know, it does say level, but it's really you're editing a world. Uh, but it's not really like this. This is different. This is not Minecraft. This is an actual game where it involves thinking enemies and 2D level editing not 3D level editing Indiana Jones is not that bad but all right let's enough talk let's uh, save it so I'm going to save it with my S press enter okay now it's saved trust me it is saved then I can go ahead and I can play it uh, yes and it'll wait. There's no timer or anything. You just wait until you're ready to go. Okay. Let's see if I can remember all the keys. Alright. I don't really remember all the keys. What was it? No, don't worry about that guy. I don't even know what all the keys are. I know the... Apparently that brings up the option thing, the bracket. There it is, page, it's page up and page down, okay. Now I have to, um, let me go to game speed. Uh, let's slow it down to one. So otherwise these goobers are going to go too fast. All it is is use the bracket, or you can use the escape key. 
that works too. I'm gonna go over here. Oh yeah, I was talking about uh, I was talking about uh, Minecraft. And uh, oh shoot, I'm not gonna win this. <laughs> I forgot a ladder. <laughs> High score. Alright. Yeah. Edit boards. Looks <laughs> like I guess I could have. You know what? I could have had it set up, but then the other goober would have got me and I would have lost. There's no way. I'll put in one ladder. try that again. Oh, page up, page down. Let's put some page down. <laughs> kind of quick. You got other games out there, other editors. Um, like Bar Cell Construction Set. I like that one. I, I used to love that one because it had all the uh, scripts. That was my first introduction to doing scripting and stuff. It's Bar Cell. Jeez. Oh, did I? Hold on. You have to turn the speed down. There we go. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it's page up. Sorry. It's not page down, it's page up. <laughs> what the jeez? These are fast. Jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just too fast. Gotta like you lose use slow mo or something. All right. I'll fix that. Hard to get go up a ladder when it's going like super fast. Done. I've <laughs> made it. That's kind of tough. Oh, yeah, because there's no level two. That's why. All right, but you get the idea. So, I'm going to quit. Get my new high score. All right. That's pretty much it. That's that's a load of run. Those, these right here are just snapshots of the actual original levels for load runner. Uh, but I, I prefer the uh, yeah I like the older uh, construction sets they have had back in the day. It's not as good nowadays. Like Neverwinter Nights, that was a fun one too. The the not Neverwinter Nights two. Neverwinter Nights two is good too, but Neverwinter Nights was more fun. It was quick to make, and you had a lot of custom scripts that were easier to handle. Uh, I liked it. It was fun. And you create your own adventures. You know, I like puzzle games that you can make, but I also like adventure games that you can manually create. <laughs> All right, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, and they, it gets harder on this game. I need. I think I need to put like a, some type of slow mo or something. Slow it down a little bit. These guys are moving a little too fast. It was like that with the Quest for Glory game. It had the same thing. Yeah, I do own Quest for Glory. I've got the Quest for Glory games uh, that I put on here. I think I have the anthology, I believe, which had the newer, has the old and the new Quest for Glory. Uh, the because they've made a remake, a Quest Quarry remake, and then the last one was Quest Quarry 5, which can be a pain to get to work on Windows 7. 
is not impossible. It's near impossible, but it's not impossible. I, what I did for Windows 7 to get it working is I got it working on Windows XP when I originally had it. And then with the Windows XP version, that's what I did was I didn't install it. I just took the copy from Windows XP and then just put it onto the Windows 7 and then it works. That's the trick for getting Quest Quarry 5 to work on this version.